All right. I finished writing in my journal. I'm going to read you my last few pages I wrote yesterday. I think I wrote about five of them. Pondering reality and the responsibility I have in what I perceive as good and bad. Well, what I mean, does my perception of someone's good qualities versus bad on magnifying one over the other? If it does, then do I have an obligation to magnify the good? That seems reasonable to me. A few examples. When my daughter was in grade school, she did one really stupid thing every year. I get a phone call and deal swiftly with it, and she seemed to find the rest of the year. This went on about three years until one unfortunate uh, incident. She nearly made the teacher cry. Well, you can rest assured my daughter was crying after it was all over and brought an apology letter to school the next day. That was the last year of grade school and the end of that kind of event. I work hard at uh, accentuating her positive qualities, even if I had to set the goals for those qualities myself. Well, years later, my daughter is a loving, compassionate, grateful woman that I am so proud of. Who knows what would have been uh, instead of accentuating the good qualities, I just focused on her bad. After all was said and done, I remembered a rice experiment where a doctor takes three bowls of rice, fills each one with water. One, he edifies and thanks. The other, he belittles and tells how worthless it is. And the last, he ignores. The one he thinks turns into a sweet, fragrant rice wine, while the one he belittles molds. The last one was the worst. The one he ignores turns black and gave off a putrid smell. Then I remembered that, I thought, what a responsibility as an observer to take charge and make a change in a life that could reach a tipping point. Tip one direction and you've helped cultivate a loving, compassionate human being. Tip to the other way and you've created a monster. I know I have a ways to go and only the grace has helped me with my daughter, but I'm still not where I need to be. Okay, one more example before I finish. On occasions, I'm in a place where I observe one of the most laziest individuals I've ever had the misfortune of meeting. I, in this instance, am not doing a very good job accentuating this one's positive qualities. On top of that, when I think it can't get any worse, they blow my expectations out of the water. I wonder if the seed was there all along and grew out of control by the observer's acknowledgement of this individual's laziness. The more I think about it, the more it seems to accent the observer's responsibility. I sure don't want to water the seeds of a future killer. And I finished that, but that last bit was pondering the history of evil in this world and what went wrong with individuals in their life that made them turn so dark. But anyway, that's what my thoughts were. Bye.